as some people will know that have already done these projects or if you haven't done one before, but let's say that you've gotten a bid for one, you'll notice that these parts are really expensive. And so the main reason is that they're a lot of work. They're a lot of coordination, um, a lot of the process that it takes to build these requires the highest level of our craftsmen that we have. So there's a lot of pre-planning, there's a lot of different materials that go into it. Uh, there's even different aspects that require people maybe like at Kansas City Hardscapes, we might have to bring somebody in from another crew that specializes in, hey, how do we think about laying this project out? What's the best way to build it? Materials used, making sure that we think about plumbing features for any gas starters. And then with this particular project, this is a fireplace going inside of a pavilion. So we have to think about how it integrates with the pavilion overhead and to make sure everything lines up. Same thing kind of goes on a fire pit. It might seem like just a tiny little circle that you do, but there's actually a lot of measuring and making sure that everything lines up and goes where it should. This fire pit here is actually a gas fire pit. So again, there's another level of thinking and planning that goes into place to make sure that we have conduit in place to bring in gas lines and gas starters and, and, and all those kind of things. So everything really has to fit. If you were just doing a wood burning fire pit, there's less to think about because nothing has to be perfect, right? You can make it any size you want. But when you have to fit it to a gas burner that is already an exact size, uh, to make sure that the BTUs and everything work out right, then everything has to be down to the Nat's ass, kind of. So here you can see the plumbing team coming in to make sure gas is soaked up right, it's tested, there's no leaks, there's no anything going on. So that's why a lot of times you might have a wood fire pit be two or three thousand dollars, but a gas burning fire pit is going to be more in that five to ten thousand dollar range, depending on size of burner, how far the gas run in, um, is from the gas line to get it here. But there's a lot of different things that go into it, but for the most part, it's just more expensive because it's just more intricate. Now, as we go back to the fireplace itself, you can see now how everything that makes this useful and makes it fun right? Because there's a TV that's going above the mantle. So everything's got to be worked out with cables to get cable here, electrical to get the electrical here. All those different things have to take place. What the customer doesn't see or what your neighbors don't see is that there was so much pre-planning going into place. But all they see when they come over is, wow, this is a gorgeous stone fireplace. Looks cool. Works great. Hey, cool. We can watch the game on it. But when you actually see it being built, you actually notice that, hey, man, they spend a lot of time on this. Like, if you just actually take a look at this video and think, boy, they started building this when there was nothing there, right? Now there is an entire pavilion in place, and they're still working on the fireplace, putting the final stones on it. So I, I can't remember the exact price of this project, but it's probably in that 30 25 to forty thousand dollar range and you can really understand why when you watch this video because there's just a lot of people in place to do it right we've got our concrete team and our cmu wall block team 
we've got electrical uh, electrician that comes in and runs all the electrical lines to make sure that's good. We've got our woodworking team to build the pavilion around, and then you've got the stone workers that come in and make sure the stone looks great. Now, the end of this project is fabulous, right? I mean, talk about an incredible spot, pavers and the grill station behind it, but it took a lot of work to get it to this, but guys that know what they're doing, make sure that this comes out and is perfect for the home. And at the end of the day, what you get is an incredible outdoor living space that allows you to have a fire going, enjoy a cocktail, watching a game, grilling out with friends and family. So it's a lot of work. And to be honest, it's expensive. But at the end of it, you get a really incredible space to enjoy time with friends and family.